The guiding force behind all of this, though, was your mom. That's why the book called Diary of a Stage Mother's Daughter. And I don't like part of me asked myself when I was reading the book, you know, there's like a fine line or maybe it's not so so fine between the, the tiger mom who drives her children, sets the bar high, is like, you can do it. Get up. You're doing it. Do it right. I know you can. Yeah. And the abusive mom who goes too far and causes real damage, right? And your mom did not find, she did not find the correct landing spot. So I, I guess, you know, having been in the experience when I hear, because it's so common for kids that were child actors to come out and say, you know, they ha- they actually had this terrible childhood. Um, and so sort of the the bar that I use is is kind of how bad did it get? How did it end? And, you know, for me, it wasn't until... I was an adult and the dynamic was sort of like, you know, she took my sister to do things. My sister was very shy. She wasn't like me where she naturally wanted to do these things and wanted to perform like a trained seal. So she was not as successful. And that was very shaming to her. And over time, you know, my mom paid attention to me and celebrated me and took me and then basically forgot that she had another child. And, um, you know, many years later, shortly right after I was married, Um, You know, my sister had had a very, very difficult time. She became an alcoholic. Um, She went to law school, um, had to move back in with my parents, you know, really went into rehab many different times and did a lot of damage to her body along the way. And there was a point at which she went into the hospital because she had really destroyed her pancreas. And at that moment, um, my mom cleaned out everybody in the family's bank accounts and ran. And it's not about the money at all. What it's about is one of my very last memories of my sister was she was laying in bed and she was in so much pain. Um, She had been sober, but it was too late. And her body was in pain and her heart was in pain. And I'm going to try and say this without crying. She said, wouldn't it be so nice to have a mother? Mm. And I had been asking her, you know, what could I do? Um, Because it was clear, you know, that this wasn't going to end well. Mm. And all she wanted was, you know, when you're sick or your child's sick and they just want that comforting from that one person. Yep. And to think that that person had instead taken all their resources, you know, that might help. Not that she didn't get the care she needed, but that that would be your response and fled. Take advantage of her, to take advantage of her. It's just not human. You know, it's not something that a a human being would do. Um, I'm a mother, you're a mother. You would, I mean, that's, I think probably the furthest thing from your mind that you would do. And, and it's different from, you know, people will say sometimes there's somebody that you can't help any longer. No, she, she was sober at this point and her body was damaged and she was in pain and she needed empathy and comfort. And my dad was there and stayed by her side and, you know, God bless Ray. We, you know, we, we did what we could and we're there, but that to me was just, um, you know, I believe she's a sociopath and, um, I can't really explain the things she did and the response to us any other way. Mm-hmm. Um, and so to me, it's to stop having a relationship shortly before that time. And I'm, I'm ruining the book for anyone who hasn't read it. But <laughs> it's been out for a while. Shortly so okay. before that time. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing great on book sales here, but, um, <laughs> you know, originally when this happened, when, when my sister went into the hospital and my mom cleaned everything out, I reached out to her and I said, um, you know, this Michigas has to end and I will forgive everything in the past. We can have a relationship going forward, but we can't go on with this behavior and these lies. Like you need help and we need to have an adult, normal human relationship. And by the way, you need to return half the money. And she hung up on me and never called me again. And um, after that is when I sat with my sister and she said, I, you know, it would be so nice to have a mom. And then my sister died. And at that point, the door was just closed forever. Um, and so it, it, 
it takes a lot to get to that point where I'm not going to ever have any contact or any relationship with this person anymore. I don't want listeners or viewers to think that that is something that I would do lightly or it's something that's right for almost anyone. Our situation was so extreme um, that that was that was the only way for me to I could see as I had found this wonderful person you've met. My my husband is, I think, the nicest person I've ever met to the point where you know, I remember in the beginning, people would say to me, my family would say, this can't be real. This can't be real. I mean, he's mm-hmm. just so genuine. I can see why people thought that. He is a special guy, genuinely. And he's fun and he's funny. I mean, the, the moment yeah. we got together, it just felt right and perfect. And we never wanted to be, and, and perfect's the wrong word. It felt like it fit. It felt like I could be myself. I could relax. I could but let it's so my surprising guard down. in a way. So surprising if you think about the damage that your mom inflicted, and they will have to read the book to hear all those examples, <laughs> but she was physically abusive and she was emotionally abusive. And so usually a, a woman coming out of that you know, mother-daughter relationship would not be in a great position to find a great partner, right? It's just like, you're kind of effed up without a shit ton of therapy. It's just hard, right? To find yeah. someone who's healthy to get married to. So how, how did you do that? Like, how did that happen? Cause you're, I've known you a long time, you, you know, like anybody, <laughs> you've got your aches and pains mentally and otherwise, yeah. but you're well-adjusted, you're healthy, you are well. So how, what happened there? I think I got lucky. I, I I don't know. I mean, I I somebody told me recently that 99% of people who are raised by a sociopath have a relationship with a sociopath. And wow. I I never had that kind of I never had an abusive or negative relationship with anyone after my mother. I mean, a friend or a boyfriend or or anything like that. Um I think that I got really lucky and I knew what I didn't want. I knew what felt bad. I knew that what felt right. Like once I went to college and I had the opportunity to be on my own and create some space, I realized that the most important thing was to be authentic, to just be yourself and let other people take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. And if you could just be present in your own body in the current time and just be okay with it, it's an incredible freedom. There is so much to love about fall, from the cooler temperatures to the changing leaves, the pumpkin spiced everything. Just ask Michael Knowles. <laughs> what better way to soak up the best of the season than with a Michael Phelps swim spa by Master Spas? A Michael Phelps swim spa combines the benefits of a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. It comes in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard, even if it's a small backyard. Master Spas worked with Michael Phelps, the one and only, to develop an at-home training and fitness solution that you can use year-round in any season. Yes, even in the winter. Exercising in the water is a great way to include physical activity in your daily life, whether you're a beginner or a fitness enthusiast. Relax after an afternoon of raking leaves and yard work. I mean, you can do that there whatever day you want. The hydrotherapy jets are going to massage away any aches or pains. Now, as your fall calendar fills up, a Michael Phelps swim spa is the perfect place to spend time together as a family. The swim spa draws people outdoors, and the kids will love splashing and playing in the swim area. Michael Phelps swim spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas. That's the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. A Michael Phelps swim spa is energy efficient, too. You can use it all year long. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps swim spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.